Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars. This is the 1075% difficulty uh, playthrough. Now my suspicion is that this episode will be the final episode before we can open the domes. As a result of that, uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be back with next week in this time slot. Uh, it will either be a new game that I haven't done before, or it will be probably an extra episode of Soviet. I'm not completely sure, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit up in the air. Uh, there's a game I want to try, but it's not releasing until after I have to record for next week's uh, time slot, so it, it's hard to say. There's another one I've been messing with, but it won't be very interesting because I haven't figured out how to play it without uh, failing yet. And, um, and by failing, I mean failing in the most boring possible way. So anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's enough about that. Uh, let's, uh, well, let's get the show on the road here. Now, what are we uh, building here? We have the artificial sun. Yep. Which is sucking up a whole bunch of resources for a little bit here. We got a rocket that can land, so we'll land the rocket. Yep. Good. Now, uh, we need something else here as well. Um, well. I was thinking of doing something else. What was it? Now we can capture ice asteroids. Um... Where is it? Capture ice asteroid. No, that's capture meteors. Um. Well, we'll uh, we'll definitely send an expedition there. Yep. And we have uh, up here. Seed vegetation. We have a second seed vegetation. You know, you know what we can do? We can build a rocket. Rocket. Wham. Uh, core water. Okay. Let's uh, let's duck in on the science here. Um, we might as well pick up the last one of those. Okay. Okay, so that's going to complete the uh, the tree here, uh, except for the special research over there. Right. Okay. Are we? Let's let's outsource some more. You know, because it's not like we have any uh, any funding or anything, right? Okay. Now this is getting. It's just collecting polymers now. We need another 90-odd polymers in there. Right. Okay. And this needs... Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff in there, too. Right. This is going up at 1.5% per sol. So uh, we're definitely going to hit the the open the domes stage in this episode um okay so uh we have a rocket so let's uh let's duck into the planetary view and we will send a seed uh expedition up yep What's this one? It's doing seed vegetation as well. Okay. And this one is... Right, yeah. Okay. So we're doing a bunch of stuff. Good. Uh, see, we're up to 83.5% uh, atmosphere already. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's quite substantial. And we've got a big boatload of trees around here now, so yeah, it's uh, it's definitely progressing, right? So 
there's not going to be all that much to this this episode. I want to build. I want to see if we can build the the last uh, wonder. Uh, so if we go in here and we look under wonders, Project Morpheus is, uh, and the Geoscape Dome. The Geoscape Dome isn't worth building, but Project Morpheus is concrete, uh, metal, and Oh, we have the uh, resources to build Project Morpheus. Um, okay. Where can we shove it? We can shove it right here. Okay, we'll shove it right there. Okay. Whoops. Good. Okay, our uh, artificial sun is powering up. Uh, a few ticks here, and it will stop drawing water. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, we've got enough water to uh, power it up, so that's fine. We're not going to cause any strain on anything. Uh, buildings destroyed. Rebuild. Okay, and this, we've completed our artificial muscles, okay, so drones are moving stuff faster. Uh, two more ticks on the artificial sun, and then we can watch it start up. There we go, there's the artificial sun. Um... Right, we probably want to connect that to the power grid since it generates a boatload of power. Uh, right, that is power cables. Um, you know what? We can just bring the power cable in from... No, we'll bring it in from here. No, we won't. We'll bring it in from here. Yeah, see here, this generates a thousand power. Requires polymers to maintain it, of course, but that's fine. Uh, the uh, the production we have going is is certainly adequate for that. Right. Okay. So we got that, and we've got Project Morpheus is uh, just about online. Okay, you can land. And here we go. Project Morpheus. Right. Good. I wonder. Uh, might as well uh, go in here for the uh, Geoscape Dome. How big is it? Hey, we can fit it in. We might as well, you know. Just for gig giggles, right? Yeah, just for giggles. What does it need? Lots of resources. Let's just shove that in there. And we'll see... See how fast that can build. So, I mean, why not? We have the resources to run it, right? So... Uh, we're gonna need pipes. Yep. And we're gonna need power. Uh, power. Yep. So we'll do that. And we're gonna need a dome, so, I mean, ultimately, because uh, we're running out of storage places for people. So, might as well shove a Geoscape Dome up. Uh, you know, we're going to end up running out of polymers 
so that's going to be fun. But we don't need to worry too much about that. Um, yeah, we don't need to worry too much about that. Now, we could start throwing tribal electric scrubbers all over the place, too. Let's get rid of some of these extraneous um, dump sites. Yeah, since they're empty, we don't need them, right? Uh, right, good. Now, oh, we got one up here we can get rid of, too. Okay. Uh, so we could theoretically, oh wait, let's, uh, let's go in here. Uh, we have cloud seeding. We'll send that one up now too. Okay, now, if we go in here and we look in here, we do, haven't researched tribal electric scrubbing. Huh! Normally, that's research by now. Where is it? We'll stick that at the front of the research queue. Because, you know, we might as well build those uh, if we get a chance to. Uh, okay, now let's uh, go in at the... Where's the polymer factory thingy? Polymer factory. Well, there's one. I think... Don't I have two of these? I don't. Huh. Well, you know what I can do? I can go in here, and I can go in here. Where is it? Polymer factory. Um... I could put one here. Yeah. I could put one there. Then we can go in here, grab a pipe. I think that will, uh, yeah, I think that does it. Now let's get that built. We do have the resources to build it, obviously. Uh, we're short on concrete, but we will get there. This guy... We'll pause that. Until this guy can get all the concrete he needs, right? And next delivery. There we go. It's constructing. There we go. Run all shifts. And we will upgrade and upgrade. Yep. Okay. Right. Now this guy... We can... Restart. Yeah. Okay. Now this guy... Yeah, so we got full... Full here. Okay. We have tribal electric scrubbing. Okay. So what we can do... Is go in here. These guys need metal and... Uh, right. Okay. So we can do things like... Like putting these things up here. Um, right. See, what these things do is they reduce maintenance, right? And uh, as they do, uh, they, they can even reduce maintenance on each other, right? Uh, so if we do service area up, okay, and that gets that, we, right, now, so we can actually go in here, and now we can uh, stick up 
uh, a bunch of these things all over the place. You know, that sort of thing. And then if you cover your whole area, uh, you can actually eliminate most of your maintenance. Now, uh, the thing about that is on the super extra heavy um, uh, disasters level, uh, it doesn't uh, completely uh, eliminate maintenance during dust storms. Uh, so it really sucks back your uh, uh, no. It really sucks back your machine parts. Um, which is obviously a uh, a problem, right? Uh, so so you see here we've got we can do this and we can do this and right now this is really just an excuse to use up time doing stuff right and if we do this so as you, you can see we uh, you can cover a whole bunch of ground with those things and if you do some strategic uh, stuff uh, you can uh, you, you can reduce your maintenance costs. Now, we don't have to. Uh, uh, so, as a result, uh, you know, I'm not going to do any more of that. And we're almost to the opening the dome stage anyway. Um, I'll hold off just a trifle on opening the domes until we're a little past the bare minimum. So, it doesn't go backwards, right? Uh, but we're, we're gaining still 1.3. So we've definitely got enough uh, atmosphere production, right? So uh, we still need a stack of concrete and polymers for the geoscape. So I think maybe I'll let the geoscape finish and then and then we'll call it a part because I think that will take long enough. Well, let's go up here and you see you can see how the planet itself changes as the the uh, terraforming progresses right uh, so yeah we'll send an expedition there yeah because we might as well right well, that's basically what you do uh, you just run the missions you get your temperature up at whatever speed you're getting your temperature up uh, and you uh, you get your vegetation up, uh, and it, it just takes a lot of busy work by the time you get all of these to 100%. But I think opening the domes is really the, the, uh, the point at which you can say, yeah, we're basically done. Uh, whoops. This thing is kind of fun. Let's uh, play around with that a little bit here. Uh, we'll go and so if we take a uh, small solar panels, we can stick them in here, right? Uh, let's stick a few of them in here, and then you can see what they uh, what they do, right? Oh, you can disconnect the water once this thing ignites. Uh, it doesn't use any after that. Uh, but if we but if you take a look here, you see the solar panels will actually face the artificial sun. And you can generate just a little bit more power off of these. Uh, and that, uh, that's quite, uh, quite amusing. Now, when it goes nighttime, and we're getting there, they'll stay open while the other ones close. And these don't have... Uh, an atmospheric effect so yeah it's uh, it's quite impressive so you see uh, the solar panels here are just about to close right 
So we'll just observe that. And these guys will close. There they go. But these guys are still open. So they they uh, actually thought about that when they when they did the artificial sun thing. Now how's this coming along? We got our concrete. Now we're waiting on polymers. Uh, how's our polymer production here doing? Well, it could be doing better. But we're producing... Yeah, we've got the resources to hire more people. So um, I'm going to go in here. No, I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to do another one of these. Yeah, we can shove another one of them in there. Um, see, this is the thing. Once you're at this point where you've got stacks and stacks of uh, resources... Oh, uh, something that uh, we'd need to do is, ultimately is... Uh, um, where is it? These guys... Oh, they're not, they're not uh, producing anything. Okay. Yeah, they're not, not producing anything. So, uh, ultimately, you need to uh, make sure you don't run out of water. Uh, but that's easy at this stage because you can just chuck up some vapor. We got a thousand colonists. Uh, so, yeah. Well, let's... Uh, let's uh, uh, wander in here. What's this one? Well, we'll grab that one. Because why not? Yeah. Did I miss the... Uh... Whoops. Whoops. I wait, maybe it's 95% for atmosphere. Whatever it is, we're going to get there. Uh Yeah, we'll definitely get there. Uh right. Okay, you can land. Good. You can open all shifts and upgrade and there we go uh, so uh, we're going to just produce stacks and stacks and stacks of polymers right uh, because well why not right 95 is it Um, right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll get out of that. Here. Whoops. I know it's not at, it's before a hundred percent when you can actually open the domes. And we will basically make it there uh, this episode. Uh, we're definitely going to make it there because we're we're chucking in 1.3% per sol, right? So we only need like five sols and we'll be done, right? So, uh, and I think it's 50% temperature we need. Uh, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's 50%. Um, uh, 
let's uh, go in here in terraforming. If we grab one of these, that needs 50 polymers. But we could... could stick this here. Bam. Okay. Uh, because, you know, you, you heat up the atmosphere uh, better that way. Uh, you know, we could, right? This is slowly accumulating polymers. We're producing 39 polymers per per turn, so or per sol rather. So that's good. Aha! There we go, it's 95%. Now I'm gonna let this tick up just a little bit longer. Uh, just because we need to have uh, we need it to, to not go backwards, right? Uh, right, okay. Okay, so we have uh, 95.3. That is probably good enough. Uh, But I want to see if we can, uh, wait, what we can do is we can, we can go up here, space elevator. We can just grab some polymers from the space elevator, right? Launch. Uh, and that should get us enough polymers to leapfrog everything, right? And we don't have to sit around while we produce it. Yeah. I'm just lazy, or, or impatient, rather. So, uh, that's the whole reason for doing that. Uh, but it will allow things to uh, proceed a little bit faster. Okay. And this guy is building... Yep. And this guy is doing nothing. Right. Uh, what does, uh, why, what, what's this symbol mean? Um, oh, overpopulated. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. High speed comm satellite. We definitely don't need this here. Just about ready to finish. And then it's going to build forever. Uh, we had a Mars quake. Yep. Uh, I think what we probably need to do is also chuck up a few of these. Yeah, I think we need to chuck up a few of these. There we go. And, uh, well, let's, uh, pause things here. 
Now, we'll go in here and grab the pipes. Yep. You can go here. You can go here. You can go here. And here. And here. And, of course, we can go and grab one of uh, these and stick it, I don't know, right about here. Yep. And then we can grab some wires. Wires. Okay. You can go here. You can go here. 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 And here. Right? Okay. I think... Okay, we'll also land this other rocket here. Now, we'll unpause it and get things rolling. Um... Right, so all of that stuff should should come up, and we should have plenty of um, plenty of water production. Uh, oh wait, no, that's not going to do anything useful there. Okay, now we need to actually put the pipes where they're going to be useful like say here yeah okay okay that one last pipe has to go up and then we'll have a stack of what well, water coming in Okay, we can upgrade those, and then there's the pipe, there we go. So now we've got lots of water. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, before we get, go too far, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to just do this. Right. Right. Okay. So we're low on polymers because, well, we've done a whole bunch of things. Uh, we'll rebuild that. Right. Uh, and just for giggles, we'll go on the space elevator. Eh, we're out of cash, are we? Right, okay. Well, we can go on the space elevator, and we can turn on exports. Yeah. Now! Let's uh, sit around here, and we'll grab this. Uh, we are able to uh, open the domes. Open the domes. And there we go. There's our colony with no domes. And as you can see, uh, we have whoops, we have 
uh, you know, just open air. People are walking across the surface. Uh, they don't need to rely on these uh, things here. And here's the neat thing. They've turned into uh, uh, moving platforms. So, like, everything is open air. So, we basically, we're there. And then the rest of it is just busy work uh, for terraforming, right? And that, uh, that's basically, you know, as much as, uh, as we really need to do here. So, basically, I think we can say 1075% difficulty, definitely winnable. Definitely winnable. Now, what we can do at this point, we can go, all, go around and remove all our oxygen tanks and moxies. They're not needed anymore. Uh, we still need the power generation, the uh, water vaporators, and uh, you know we don't need the water storage because all the disasters are done. But uh, yeah, it's basically basically we're done. We built all the wonders, and. Yeah, there's not much more to do. Uh, now, if I if I wanted to uh, fiddle around with the save after this point, I would spend a whole bunch of time basically reconstructing the colony from, you know, so that uh, every, uh, so that the domes are, are, are you know, like I'd cluster the services, like put power generation in one place and... Uh, water generation, a field of that somewhere, and then I cluster the domes, make sure the the resources are all available, like the jobs are all available in one place, all of that jazz, right? But uh, that's a lot of busy work and tinkering and high detailing or whatever, right? And it's not really all that engaging, right? It's kind of boring. And I've done that already, and I got bored after about an hour, so couple hours maybe so yeah it's it's not something i'm going to sit here and do uh you know it just it doesn't make any sense right so yeah uh all all in all there there isn't uh there isn't much to be done uh now we we have a core heat convector going that's uh raising the the temperature by uh, 0.4% per sol, so we get up to the, the highest temperature. Um, now, if you we were to wander around, you see there's not a lot of uh, cold ground left. Uh, right? So if we, we got these couple of cold spots here, uh, but there was a big cold spot over here. And uh, I think either the mohole and the core heat convector have wiped that out mostly because uh, there's uh, still some here. But I think the, uh, the cold spots on the ground actually even warm up a bit when, uh, when you get the, the heating going. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so basically, uh, yeah, so we've got our uh, research basically maxed out right and now it's just going to randomly pick research to do if we don't select anything right uh which one has it so it's selected uh dozer so i think it's going to work its way down from the top no particular uh need to well actually uh we could could just uh, work our way down from the top of the uh, ladder here you know no behavior of melding what's that pr produce um, oh it's a sanatorium upgrade right so like we could work our way down the the tech tree all of that jazz you know things that just keep on going but you know we, we've won the game basically right So there's there's nothing more to do. Um, anyway, uh, 
the whole point of doing this, this series, was to see if I could uh, manage to survive a 10-75% playthrough. Now, I think, uh, to be fair to this playthrough compared to another one I saw on YouTube, uh, I think the difficulty ranking of the mysteries is not quite fair. Uh, there's another mystery that's also max difficulty, the Metatron mystery. That one, uh, in my opinion, is far harder to deal with because uh, it's an actual war and uh, it completely destroys your, your colony multiple times over just about uh, to get through it with its, uh, its uh, steps along the way. And yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult and it's very easy to go wrong. Um, I think with a reasonable uh, colony design, uh, you can probably uh, survive it relatively well. Uh, with a lucky uh, tech tree layout, uh, where you get uh, the lasers and all of the production uh, quickly, uh, it definitely would be beneficial. Um, but you really need to have your production stable before you trigger it. And, uh, that, and, it, and it's a population trigger, I believe. So you need to have your, your, uh, your production stable and spread out uh, so that you can, you don't, you know, and a lot of resources saved up. Uh, you have to have a lot of power extra power you need a lot of extra water you need a lot of extra o2 uh, and you need that stored over by all of your your domes and everything and it's uh it's tedious uh i i actually uh i'm pretty sure yeah i i got beat by metatron at least once uh, i i think i only ever had that one pop up once and i've not deliberately selected it Anyway, uh, if I was going to do another 1075% playthrough, I'd probably take the Metatron mystery and I would, uh, I would probably keep the rival colonies. Uh, as they do make things a bit easier. Maybe I wouldn't, I, I'm not sure. But I think having no rival colonies should add another, I don't know, 100% onto the difficulty score. Uh, and I think the Metatron mystery should be a higher, uh, higher than wildfire. As, as you saw, it didn't take much to deal with wildfire at all, uh, really. And it's considered a top tier difficulty mystery. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna say that's that's it for for this uh, this series of surviving Mars. I'm not going to do another surviving Mars series. I don't think it'll be particularly engaging and of course all two of you that have watched any episodes of this, you know why. but I I wanted to do this to show that uh, it's definitely possible to do and the strategies are not that difficult, right? And you don't even have to play perfectly to survive it. And that's, that's the key, right? Uh, you don't have to play perfectly. Uh, but anyone watching this, you remember when I was making these ramps? You know, way back in the, uh, you know, like a million episodes ago, uh, when, uh, when, when I was just getting these ramps online and I was using these, um, uh, uh, um, waste rock uh, storage areas to block the dust devils uh, and we had you know we were building up uh, resources and it took forever to get to a dome and you know forever to get through the research to the point where we could bring a large enough number of uh, colonists in one go 
uh, you know, the, all of that tedious buildup. And then once I sorted out my birth rate, I got that lucky event where we got a, uh, got the hanging gardens. Once the birth rate re got fixed, you know, it, it was basically a foregone conclusion at that point, especially once we ended up not having cold waves and uh, dust storms anymore. There was no chance it was going to, uh, it was going to fail really, unless I screwed up big time. But anyway, uh, that's all for Surviving Mars. Uh, next week in this time slot, it may be a new game or it may be an extra episode of Soviet Republic. Uh, I'm not sure yet. It will depend on what, uh, on how things shape up. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be all here. So I guess stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. You know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel now. And uh, see you back for whatever's up next time.